Dropping 50 and losing, that's no fun. As long as we're getting the W, I don't care if I only score five. Well, maybe 35. What happened to that boy? Any of you remember this commercial? I don't, I just search it up. Bruh. What's up guys? Today we're looking at a nostalgic pair for a lot of people that just got released, the Adidas T Max 3. From the box, you see a T-Mac logo on the left and an Allen Iverson logo on the right. So I just realized that this colorway pays tribute to the Reebok questions. The full name of the sneaker is T-Mac 3 Resto Mod, which stands for Restore and Modification. So shout out to Wear Testers, I learned that from one of his previous videos. So basically, it is the Adidas term for a retro of an old signature model. Just like most other Adidas basketball shoes released recently, there's a tag that tells you that the shoes are made of recycled content. And on a first look, they do bring back a lot of memories with this typical chunky look. T-Mac was the face of Adidas basketball at the time while he dominated the league offensively. That was like back in grade six or seven for me. I just remember seeing a lot of people hooping in his shoes. And these ones kind of also remind me of the Adidas Kobe, which also has a car shape or look to it. And yes, Kobe was with Adidas for a little bit shortly before he became a sneaker free agent. So the main design is certainly the glossy and shiny white paint finish on the upper. It uses the Adidas bounce technology and it's got a very nice quality leather tongue, which I thought really just adds more weight to these shoes. However, they actually feel pretty nice on feet. Definitely not as heavy or clumsy as I thought. Coming back to some details, you see the T-Mac logo on the other tip of the zipped open tongue and it also is the two-part design, the traction pattern does seem to be decent. Overall, just based on the look, I think this is the pair that you either love or hate. But if you want to add some revamped OG hoop shoes to the collection, these are probably a good option. Personally, I don't really like this synthetic inner with these warm colors. I thought it would have been nice if we saw like an all-white color. This particular colorway is inspired by McGrady's 28 Basketball Lessons, printed on the insole as well. Quickly shifting over to the left shoe, pretty much the only difference is the Reebok logo on the tongue and the Iverson Question logo on the other end. Honestly, I still don't really see how these mimic the Question mids. But if you happen to know about it, please let me know in the comments. Anyways, that's the unboxing part. I have worn them to shoot around a little bit in the gym, and because of the pandemic, I still don't really feel like actually playing, especially now that I'm really out of shape. But for what I could tell, the court field is not bad at all. The downside is that there's basically no cushioning set up, but they don't really feel that heavy and bulky. Instead, they do mold to your feet with the right amount of pressure. And I suggest going true to size with these. Another thing to consider if you were to actually play in them is the ventilation. So unlike other modern basketball shoes with a mesh upper, these guys are not breathable at all. That's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching and let me know in the comments what you think about the Adidas Team Max 3 Resto Mod. And don't forget that in every video this month, I will be picking my favorite comment to receive a small price. And I'll leave the winner from the last video here. Stay safe, have a good rest of your day, and I'll see you on the next one.